thought it might be nice to do a little update on Alexander the Great and the Battle of Raffia that we are looking at. And <coughs> despite the feeling that uh, the solicited, solicited folks are taking the, the brunt of things, the actual loss in route points is fairly close. The uh, Ptolemy's forces have lost 39 route points that I uh, am able to figure, and the Seleucids have lost 59. So it's only a 20 point delta, and the net available to be lost for both sides is uh, 100 and 105 respectively. So it's you know within bounds of reason of being fairly close. Now if we actually look at the positions that both sets of forces are in in this ancient battle then we have uh, probably a really rough time coming here and in fact I think you know, uh, the, here, so for instance here here's 10, 20, there's 30, 40, 40, let's call it 45 route points that will that'll blow up in fact if those guys aren't recovered that'll blow up the Seleucid army and the game's over but it didn't doesn't feel like that just yet because uh, we had a, a unsuccessful attempt at momentum here which caused a die roll of doom and these guys had to actually retreat which gave the cavalry here some respite and allow them to recover a little bit We've got uh, one elephant unit here left from the Seleucids uh, attacking these medium infantry, and that's going to cause a little bit of a little bit of chaos. And then over on on this wing over here, the cavalry here is in a bit of a mess. The leader is wounded. These two units are substantially damaged. Uh, as are these enemy uh, uh, Seleucid forces. However, we've got the leader here, and I've got uh, Antiochus's heavy cav have now recovered and are about to charge into the fray. And if they were able to, and they probably are not going to be able, but if they were able to uh, pop in, if we got a momentum activation and popped in here, we could really cause some damage for those uh, heavy infantry forces there. So, you know, in uh, further detail, look, it might be a little late, right? Uh, which begs the question, why didn't you know, Nicarus uh, advance? Well, the main reason why we didn't is one, two, three, four. He's going to be exactly one hex short of engaging and, uh, and, and then just put himself in all sorts of strife. And we didn't want to advance too far because we've got this heavy, these heavy infantry which are just rolled up our, um, our lights and mediums and our Arabs over on the left wing there. So in fact, it might well be over. Because I don't know that I can... Uh, this guy, uh, this chappy down here, has only got three, three command points. So he's going to have to roll like a rock star to recover uh, two of those. We'd only save two of those guys, which is a bit of a bummer. I mean, the leader for the other folks, so all these uh, these light infantry here, he's he's caught up over there in his own little world of world of hurt. So yeah, this battle is pretty much done. I, I really wanted to get these uh, these phalanxes going against each other, but I'm not going to force the issue just to just to cause myself a whole bunch of grief, particularly with this this flank being threatened, and indeed this flank is threatened from these heavy infantry. So it is a bit of a bit of a beat up. When now that I now that I look at it, I didn't feel like it was that uh, that disparate a, a situation with just twenty points difference. But when you see that there's another thirty or forty points here, that really does uh, make make things tenuous for the Seleucid folks, and their flanks are very very tender. So that might be a wrap. We'll play a little bit more of this, and then I'll post the rest of it up, and we'll see what goes from here.